there is an interface between biology and relationships and therapy. And to do one without the other is really a disservice to the family. How much is uh, nature? How much is nurture? How much is biology? How much is actually relationships dynamics? And I think that the shift in the 90s when things became highly pharma pharmacological um, found to be problematic because people on all these perfect medications really didn't get better all the time. But you can have psychiatrists and therapists working independently but still have the same idea around medications not being the sole solution nor therapy being the sole solution. I am asking myself the question, is there a biological component to this? Is there a dynamic component to this? And how are they actually interacting with each other? You can do much more service for the family by exploring some of the relationships, some of the dynamics that may be impacting the medication itself. When people need medication, they need medication. But when they come in thinking that they do and they don't, I consider that a win. There's no medicine that works very quickly. It's somewhat fantastical in some ways that you can take a magic pill and things will be fixed.